Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Optimus P517 coming back at you with a uh, restoration pickup actually. So, I've been wanting to do this since last year is to find a pair of shoe that I really want to restore but uh, I was trying to find a balance of a shoe that's not so beat where once it's restored it really looks nice still and not paying too much either to get a uh, semi-beat shoe. So. It was hard to find, but I finally came across something that I actually wouldn't mind working on because I've uh, originally I was going to look into doing some threes, repainting the midsoles and so forth, but saw this on the Facebook group and I had to actually uh, kind of jump on a deal because it was, I don't know, I thought it was an okay price. So, but on with the shoe. <laughs> We've got the uh, Toro Bravo. Fives. So this was from the uh, Tor Bravo pack. I think they came out in 09. I could be wrong. Uh, I camped out for them a while ago, but I, I let them go and regret. Regretfully, I miss them. So uh, I was able to scoop these up off of a Facebook group. This kid was selling them. Shockingly enough, they were still available a week later at that price, and and I didn't know why people were smoking crack. But this shoe, um, you know, for me it's a big project. A couple things I'm going to point out, and, and I'm not really going to show you the other shoe because it's in pretty much the same condition. I've taken out the insole already. Um, I'm going to uh, disinfect it, deodorize it, get that all cleaned up. I'm also going to do a Jason mark around the liner as far as I can get to it. But the first thing is going to be disinfecting it. Um, if you guys want to know, how to disinfect it, go ahead and click on right here. That will link you to a video from a while ago that I did in regard to disinfecting a pair of used shoe before you go ahead and start wearing them. Um, what else I'm gonna do, I was gonna plan to originally re-dye the upper as well, but it seems like when I uh, picked it up today, um, man, I've been dying, I'm dying to work on this already. So I gotta make this video quick, but it seems like the previous owner or the owner before that had started dying already. Uh, there was a lot of rundowns. It got into the air bubble. The air bubble was pretty. I don't know if you guys can kind of see, kind of mucky. The paint needs to be redone. Um, it looks better in video, but it looks kind of scruffy in uh, in person. So. And then you can see this side as well. So I'm going to be picking up some uh, Angelus paint for the first time and going to be working on this. Last but not least, Yellow Souls. Thankfully, it's actually sunny in Seattle. I can actually test out the Saucer Retro Bright tomorrow um, after I've gotten the basics cleaned up. So what my steps is going to be, I'm going to have to remove the laces, clean the laces. Another thing I have to do you can tell one of the laces are focus focus maybe not okay I give up on that but you guys can kinda of see it's frayed one of the laces is frayed so I gotta figure out how to uh, get that repaired because I really don't want to buy another set of laces but I might um, just in case and then I'm gonna clean the upper with some Jason Mark and then uh, just just the whole shoe is getting redone that's all I'm saying but once it's done, I think it's going to look really good. I'm not going to work on removing the creases because it's suede. Uh, it's untouched territory for me. But ideally, the suede is going to crease very quickly once you wear it anyway. So what I'm probably going to do is put the... Uh, uh, what, what the hell is that stuff called? Uh, shield? Sneaker shield, I think? I've got a couple sneaker shield. I'm just going to throw it in there. and It's, it's going to help retain most of its shape. Um, the suede... Still has a nice, decent kind of a feel to it. I don't know if it still shows on the video. I'm gonna look at the video as a reference. You can kind of see the suede has a little bit of a texture change or, or color change. But there you have it. I'm very happy to pick these up. I need to clean them up. I'm dying to start working on them. So I'm not gonna to talk to you guys for much longer. Other than that, peace out.